Hello and welcome to the show. Now, Street Legal Racing Redline has just been released on Steam and you guys really wanted me to go back and play some more of it. So I figured I would give it a go. Now, I love this game. It is an absolutely incredible game and it's a game in which the vehicle customization has yet to be beat, really. And I'm hoping that this Steam version will be a little bit more reliable than the versions I've been playing before. I had so many problems with this game crashing. Uh, that's kind of why I ended up giving up playing this, a large part anyway. Because, yeah, it crashed so bloody often and lost so many hours of recording. However, we are going to jump back in. Things have changed a little bit on this, on this version. Uh, we are going to actually kind of play the game kind of normally and see see where that gets us. I have done a little quick test just to familiarize myself with the game and work out a few few things. We are going to go and buy our first vehicle. Now I haven't got any mods installed on this. I believe at least some of the mods are working. I'm not 100% sure what uh, what is and, and what isn't and quite how that uh, how, how the mods work and so on. That's something I will have a look at at a later date. We're just going to look at the basic game itself. So, we've got to buy our first car. We have got these two... Uh, this one doesn't look too bad, actually, condition-wise, although it does look... Ah, it's missing a tyre. I was going to say it looks like the back suspension is broken, but no, it's just missing a tyre completely. Um, and that's also... It doesn't give us very much money to play with, so that would be a bad idea to buy that one. We have got a, a Golf over here that's, again, not giving us very much in the way of money to play with, to be honest. This one looks more more plausible. We are missing a front bumper. That's not massively important. And we have the slightly smaller... We can't even afford that one, so that's out of the question. Um, Really, the choices between these two... I, that we can't afford. That... I don't actually know... Even We can afford the car, but I'm not going to be able to afford to put the tyre on it, and then that's going to be useless to drive, so that's not going to be worth it. Uh, I mean, I guess we could take some parts off and sell bits. And well, I think we're going to be better off going for one of these two. And seeing as this one here is cheaper, and GTK sounds like a more advanced version of GT, I'm thinking we're going for this. We will take it. Uh, the big, Yeah, so this is the bigger brother of the 110 GT. It has a supercharged 1.8 litre, 170 horsepower from stock. Okay, I will take it. And we have a little bit of money to mess around with. Here is our car. It does need a new front bumper. And ooh, the parts are not in the best of condition. However, it's a good starting place. It's a pretty solid starting place. I am thinking... Uh, what world are we doing money-wise? Right, we have, what, 4,000. I'm thinking we are going to skip tonight and start doing some racing. Because you don't want to spend all of your money at once. This is something I did learn in my very, very brief test with this. Uh, we're going to uh, advance the time by eight hours. Once it gets to night, we can go out in the free-roaming city and find some street racing to do. However, you are going to need some money to be able to place the bets so we're going to go out driving in the city the car is still in good enough condition to drive we can not worry about you know we don't have to worry about having a front bumper on it the car is still okay to uh, to go oh i know what i was never mind I was, I was gonna put a manual gearbox in the vehicle but uh, that can come later it doesn't really matter i am driving this with a 360 controller you can rig up a uh, controller to work here and i've gone the wrong way uh, for the racing. The racing is up the other end of the city. It's not the largest of cities, but it's still quite nice to have a free roaming area. Now, the graphics on this game are not the most amazing. It is a rather old game. Let's not uh, not forget that. I think perhaps this version does look a little bit better than the version that I did play a <laughs> while ago but yeah it's, it's an old game it's running on an old engine it's not going to look like the most amazing thing in the world but that's not the point of it and that's not why this game is so amazing uh, i think the next the next left is where we want to go for a little bit of racing i love how <laughs> so we're doing these big rather illegal street racing meetings in the middle of a residential area well done guys well done you've really planned this one incredibly well we are going to... You can sit and watch the, the races going on if you want. We're going to participate, though. These are the two guys that are willing to race me. 
thousand dollar bet so we're gonna race this chap down here for the money my golf against his i think it's kind of a hyundai coupe i guess sort of sort of as close as uh, as close a thing as i can think of and i'm hoping that our ooh, amazing amount of power there's so much wheel spin from this car where is the finish like we are streaking away at the front here Yep, that's going to be a relatively straightforward win for us, although I want to be careful. I don't know if you if when you finish the race, the car automatically basically locks everything up. I don't know if I crash when it's all locked up, if that damage is applied to my car. I put a vehicle damage up to maximum, so if I, if I smack my car up, we're going to need a fair amount of money to repair it. Little bit worried about that, but we will... Um, yeah, cross that bridge when we come to it. Hopefully, it'll be an if we come to it. Right, that's $1,000 in the bank, which is very, very nice indeed. I do need to be careful driving back here to go to the race, because the next race is probably going to be underway. In fact, it is. So we're going to just go up here, so I don't get in the way and don't get clobbered by two drag racing vehicles. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's an easy way to ruin your car. There we go, the two muscle cars. I'm, I'm glad I'm not racing against them. I doubt we're going to have the performance quite in this to be challenging them. And we're going to ooh, come to a stop. One, oh, we slightly missed where we want to be going. Find a reverse. There's a reverse. The actual kind of game element of this version is far better than the one that I played a fair while ago. The whole earning earning money, completing the races. I seem to remember when I played, oh, we're going to go for the $4,000 bet here, we're going to be risky. Uh, when I played, the, the cars that you started racing against were so massively overpowered compared to yours. Making money was really very difficult. Also, I'm pretty sure the race starter is standing behind us. That makes things a little... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, he's... Okay, he's not got me. It's fine. Little little scared to begin with. Nothing too bad, though. Bye-bye, Hyundai. I guess slightly more powerful Hyundai, maybe. Either way, this thing is is pretty damn rapid. Oh, you're careful now. <laughs> As I was saying before we had a minor heart attack with everything locking up, um, yeah, the actual kind of earn money and natural progression, if you like, without cheating, much easier on here. These, these races are eminently doable as you're seeing here my completely unmodified golf is competitive and we can earn a fair bit of money before we go and start messing about and upgrading our car and that's a good way to start oh i'm playing this one here dangerous aren't i i am um, don't mind me don't mind me i'm just getting out of the way we're just gonna drive up here there we go the same guy's racing possibly those curbs are vicious i actually got to be careful you can do a fair bit of damage to your car bouncing off of the curbs we want to participate again Yes, I want to race. Oh, no one wants to. No one wants to race me for big money anymore. That's disappointing. I think that's the guy we just raced against. Shall we go? I I don't know how fast that thing is, but that thing looks fast. So perhaps we will go for. Uh, we'll go. We'll race the the same guy. I think we'll get another thousand dollars, and then we will go and modify our modify our vehicle. Is this the same guy? It seems like a different car we're up against. Well, maybe it's someone different. If we can get another thousand thousand dollars, I think that would be a good start. It means we can take our car back, repair the damage from the or well, damage that it came with. Essentially, you can see the little indicator down in the bottom right hand corner. The engine is not happy in this. And we will cross the finish line for victory number three. So far, you're thinking this is a fairly sort of straightforward racing game. We're now going to go and head back to the garage. While I do that, let's talk a little bit about handling physics on this game. They do seem perhaps improved. I built a lot of very stupid cars. That's one of the joys of this game. When you start playing around with mods, there are just horrendously powerful engines you can throw into vehicles and some really rather silly stuff and nothing could really quite cope with it. These cars so far are quite drivable. We don't, apart from the tremendous amount of wheel spin, don't have too much in the way of problems with the handling, which is nice. I've also gone the, uh, have I gone the wrong way? A uh, little bit perhaps here. Yeah, I've gone the wrong way here. Bugger it. I'll get, I'll, I'll learn this city eventually. Um, yeah, the handling is better so far, but I haven't driven a horrendously powerful car, so I don't know. It is very arcadey. The oh god, the brakes are not as powerful as I'm expecting, but perhaps 
that is uh, just me not being being used to the game. Perhaps a little bit more realistic as well for these sort of cars. Uh, I don't know. It does feel like it is a little bit lacking in the braking department. But when I come to upgrade the vehicle, if we upgrade the brakes significantly, again, maybe we will see much better stopping distances. Right, back to the garage. Yes, please. Now it is time to fix up our vehicle and show off some of the tuning options. Now, I cannot seem to figure out for the life of me how to lift the car up. There used to be a button for lifting the vehicle up. I, on, the, on the big lift we've got down here, but I can't figure out where it is. I'm sure I'm missing something, and if I am, please do let me know. Because, yeah, I swear I've looked at all of these buttons and I cannot find the damn thing, which means working on like the suspension and so on is a little bit more difficult. Is there a way to still test drive it inside here? Uh, test engine and steering? I do remember this being a thing. If we stick it into reverse... Oh, can we not drive around the garage? Oh, that's disappointing. That was the most fun! <laughs> Okay, well that sucks a little bit. What $10,000 anyway to improve our vehicle? So now it is time to show off the customization that can go on. So you can remove all of the body panels as you would kind of imagine. Unfortunately I can't show you kind of taking off these bits because I can't figure out how to get that up and the car will fall down in the pit and then things will go a little bit wrong. And then you can take apart every little bit of the engine bay. So intake manifold, we can take off. We can take off the cylinder head cover. We can change the camshafts in here. We can put upgraded ones to get more power. We've got apparently a supercharger. That looks suspiciously like a turbo to me going on on the side. <laughs> that is... That is um, yeah, that's a suspicious looking supercharger. But nevertheless, we can take that off. One thing that I love, I don't remember this being a thing in the older version of the game that I played, is the gearbox from this car that it starts with is an automatic gearbox. We can take this off, we can then go to the catalogue, we go into engine, yes there we go, inline 4 is the engine that we've got, we go in transmissions. If you want to drive the car with manual gears, the game's fine with that, you can do that on the controller, but you have to actually put a manual gearbox in it. If the car doesn't come with one, you have to go and buy a manual gearbox. And I love that detail in this game, it is absolutely fantastic, it's all of these little neat touches, and I'm sure there are plenty more of them as that I will learn as I play through this. So there we go, we've got a manual transmission now that we've put in the vehicle, but that's not it either. When we come around here, we'll take off the door, you've actually got to change out the pedals. Okay, this comes with the automatic transmission pedal set, essentially, and yeah, they're, they're not going to be any good when you put in a manual gearbox. So again, we've got to go back into here, uh, interior, and we've got to go get some new pedals. Just this, these details are incredible. No modern games have really surpassed this in terms of customization. Uh, the pedals are, I love that the pedals are so much more expensive than the gearbox itself. For the, the stock, just simple manual transmission pedals are $835 and the gearbox was $235. Do we have any orange and black one? I shouldn't really be spending extra money on bloody pedals that we're not going to see. But again, you see all of these options for just pedals that you're probably going to see once or twice in the car. You can go crazy with customization in this. So we're sticking the manual pedals. We will get rid of them. While yes, they are very expensive, of course, the parts that I've taken out I can now sell for decent money, so overall it's not too bad. Uh, and then yeah, I wonder if, can we... Oh, we can take out the rear seats. Excellent. Weight reduction is what I am thinking of. We will <laughs> get rid of them. We will get rid of a passenger seat as well. We don't need that. And then we will put the stuff back. We won't put the uh, transmission back on. We will put the stuff back on the car. So yeah, you can pull the vehicle apart in all manner of ways and tune it until your heart is content. And there really is nothing that uh, nothing that I've ever played that can surpass this game in terms of customization options. And this is just with the standard cars. When it gets to mods and you start adding in, you know, real world cars and crazy engine options and so on, the possibilities are incredible. And so far, we are 14 minutes into this video and it hasn't crashed, which is better than my previous experiences <laughs> with this game. Now, we do need a front bumper. Oh, admittedly, we could run without a front bumper, again, weight reduction and all, but uh, I would quite like one, so we're going to go 
back to the shop. <gasps> we could go for an almighty wing. Oh, uh, we can put all of these wings on the cars as well. The little icons up here uh, indicate whether you can put the, the part on your current vehicle. Uh, and all of these are compatible with my car. We're not going to go just yet. I think we're going to save some, save some money. But we will have a nice front bumper on the vehicle. And then we shall paint it. Of course, there is only one colour. A car like this, or any of my cars, in fact, can be painted. Of course, we don't want to have a, 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 an odd front bumper here. We will sell the bits and pieces we have here. Not that they're really worth very much anyway. We will repair all of the parts. Now, you can take parts off individually and, and repair them. So there's only one bit that needs to be fair. It doesn't actually matter. You just click repair all. And if there's only one bit... Uh, oh, no, that's the wrong one. If there's only one bit that needs repairing, it'll repair that. Uh, 4,751 to repair the car. Yes, I would quite like to do all of that. But yeah, if you want to manually take parts off and repair them, you can you can go and do that. Now we're going to head off to the paint shop to sort the car out. This has changed a little bit from the uh, the last version that I played. So the way that it works, you have to go and buy uh, paint cans. You can go over here. You can sort out the colours that you want. We are of course wanting a nice bright orange colour. For how orange do we? Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty spot on. Right there, and then you can choose the amount that you want to buy. You actually have to manually buy these these cans to use for the vehicle. So if you only need a little bit to paint maybe a bumper or so on, and you go for that. We're going to go for a nice orange paint on the main bodywork. Uh, unfortunately, oh, we have run, <laughs> run out of paint from that can. Unfortunately, this kind of paint sort of in, in groups. Oh, bugger, we've completely run out of paint in this can. Well, there is pretty much nothing worthwhile to, uh, yeah, trash that. There's nothing we can paint with that uh, little amount, so we have to buy a... Oh, crap. I forgot I should have probably bought these in... I don't remember the exact numbers that we had. This might be slightly mismatched. I apologise if that annoys anyone. Oh, it's pretty spot on, actually. I'll take it. Uh, I was going to do orange and black, but this is only painting in groups, and there's no nice sort of side skirts to, to paint black and whatnot, so this will have to do. Ah. Oh, crap. <laughs> I really thought that was going to be it. That was going to be alright to do the rest of the damn car. Okay, I swear when I tested this, two cans was enough to paint this, but maybe I've done something stupid here. Um, right, red, and then ooh, that can go in there, and that'll be close enough. Bye. Don't know, that won't be close enough. Piss. It's going to have to do. <laughs> basically. Because I can't be bothered to uh, buy another one. Now, that can probably stay in there. Oh, it is horribly, horribly mismatched. Right, let's go and paint around there, and then maybe we can get away with just leaving it. We're going to be driving it from the back view, okay? So that uh, it's not going to be fine. <laughs> Crap, I have absolutely, completely, and utterly messed up. The slight downside of this, as I have just learned, is that you end up doing silliness like this. Um, you know what? Screw it. I've got a better plan. We're making it orange and black, okay? That, that That's a thing that is going to happen now. Uh, because I've cocked it up completely. We're going to paint the doors black, and then maybe we will come round and do... We can't do... Ah, crap. I know what I wanted to do, but I can't do... Can I do the front fenders individually? I can't do the front fenders individually. Bugger! Well, that's going to do. Right, it's orange and black. I wanted to do the fenders so we could kind of have like the orange stripe going around the back, but I can't, unfortunately. So that is going to... Well, it's a bit of a mess. It's better than it was with the mismatched orangeness. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, that's our car. Right, that's how the painting system works. Anyway, now a new feature to me, at least. We have got some proper races to go and compete. It's not just the street races going on at night. Now, these perhaps don't have the same uh, amount of money available for completing them. However, there are a fair few to get through. They all have various requirements to complete them and you're gonna to have to change about your car the vehicle that i'm in here at the moment doesn't really fit the category for any of them we can't go and race here at alton park we need to be in class e we have too much power as well at the moment and if we go up to the class d events which i think my car will start off in uh we don't have which basically aren't, aren't equipped for any of these uh we can there's demolition derbies Ooh, that's new that could be quite interesting um is that a police escape challenge? There's a lot, all sorts, all sorts going on here. We need a specific car for that one. We need a, uh, oh, 
This could be interesting. Okay, so we need to get our car down into class E to take part in that. And if we go here... Uh, there we go. Vehicle class, class D. I do remember that being around. Now, I'm thinking the easiest way for us to get down into class E would be to take off the supercharger. If we take that off, um, we will have a fair bit less power, and I'm hoping, yes, indeed, we are down into class E. So now, rather than 170 horsepower, we are producing 118. That means that we are now able to compete in the events. And I love this kind of fine-tuning your vehicle for the different categories of racing. So we can't take part in that one because we can't have more than 100 horsepower. We could go in this one because it's classy, the one that I was going to have a go with. Uh, we could go in this one. The price is only 250, which is not very much. Uh, we could go in this one as well. We've got small enough power. Or we could... This one here. Prize. SL Tuners Torino... I don't, I don't quite know what this prize is going to be. But we're going to go and find out. We're going to Oran Park. Oh, I remember the... Oh, wow, it's a little bit cloudy here. I remember this track from Toka Race Driver 2 or 3, or I'm not sure which one it was that I played on. Uh, but yes, I, I remember this track. We have... Oh, wow, so we only get one lap. Oh, crap, and I've got to do gears now. Remember, I've got to do gears for this one. Oh, and try and get less wheel spin off the... Okay, fine, we're not getting less wheel... We're getting lots of wheel spin here. Uh, gear ratios might be a little bit on the short side. We can fine-tune that out a bit, though, if we want. Oh, God. Now, let's not cock it up. I do very vaguely know this track, but I'm not sure I'm driving it very well here. Come on, car. I'm trying to stop the wheel spin. There's just so much. If I try to go full throttle, even in fifth gear... Oh! No, we've missed the track completely. We've... I was busy faffing about trying to stop wheel spin, and we have got exploring. That's not going to be conducive for a good lap time, I suspect. Got to get on these brakes nice and early. I think brakes might be my next area of um, improvements with this car. <laughs> I think that's what we're going to want for when things go a little bit wrong. We have plenty of speed, but the braking is uh, is a problem. What do we need, like a 130-something? A 32. That's going to be tricky. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're nearly over! Oh, uh, yeah, it will most definitely roll. I have no doubt if I hadn't counter-steered out of that one, that would have gone over. Oh, come on, car. I, I would need to push here to try and make it uh, with that big off. And I think that big off might have uh, might have done us in a little bit. We've got, like, 12 seconds to go. Admittedly, we are coming around the final corner now. Come on, little golf use what little power I can put down. Oh, it's going to be so close here. It's not going to be... Oh, I don't know. I didn't think that was going to be enough, but I don't know. It might have just... Oh! <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah. That was a bit close. <laughs> I thought I'd screw that. Uh, admittedly, I thought I was going to be miles off, but there we go. A 31.9. I did bump the wall after the finish line. I think I've probably done more damage. Look at the door. We've got the door hanging open. We are going to have to deal with that. Completed. We won uh, the SL tuners. I don't know what. And I don't know where I can... I'm hoping... Oh, wow. That's what we won. <laughs> we won a front seat. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we've done so much more damage to our vehicle than we won in prize money there, but at least it's something. The door is a little bit hanging off. Oh, we've bent up the rear bumper, and yeah, the damage is pretty cool on this game. Well, I mean, I guess we might as well take out the driver's seat, and we might as well put in that one. We, we can sell this one. How much did we sell? I guess so we kind of won $241. We've had 150 to enter. Fantastic. We're gonna have to. Oh, we're gonna have to repair the car as well. Uh oh. How much? Uh, okay, 112. That's all right. We're fine. We've got a racing front seat. Go us. Uh, let's try and have another look at another different race. See if we can survive that one. Um, that's for a specific model. We're not at a high enough rank for that. I think we only got going into. Oh wow. 90 horsepower rear wheel drive. Oh, it's a got to be a specific car again. Uh, demo derby. We can't do. So the only stuff that we have open to us is. Oh, we could go here. Okay, shall we go Alton Park? Prize, only $400. I don't think we don't have to pay anything to enter it, but sure. 75 to 120 horsepower. We're right at the top of this. Let's go race at Alton Park, shall we? We're right at the top of the power limit. And this car has proved to be relatively competitive so far. Wow, that... <laughs> that I'm calling it a Hyundai Coupe, but I'm not sure it's... 
hideously ugly at the front. <laughs> it looks like a fish. Oh, they're off the line better than I am. They are gone. There's only three of us. Not the biggest of fields, I will be honest. Uh, we're going to have to be a little bit brave, but not roll the car. Oh, whoa. Okay, they're going to have an accident that I really don't want to get involved with, so we're going to stay nice and far away. We've got two laps to make our way up through this field. Slow the car down, making sure to get it stopped this time. We're going up the inside of the Eclipse. No, not quite. Who has got the better straight line speed? It's... Oh, it's very even. Oh, crap, we're not on the full layouts. We're not on the full layouts. Slow it down. We're going around the outside of the hairpin if we can get stopped. We can't. Neither can he. We're going for a terrible cutback. We're making up our own track completely here. But I am in the lead, so I'll take it. Uh, they're actually putting up a pretty good fight in this one. I will I will give them that. The one test race I did uh, previously, I absolutely dominated the AI, but they are really putting up a fight here. In fact, so much so, they've taken out my rear door. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> with the shortcutting from the from the AI there, but uh, that was a ballsy overtake attempt. I will I will give them that. That is a tough place to uh, so narrow as well around here. But we are still in the lead again. I think we're going to have more damage done to our car than we're going to earn in money. But still, it's 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 fun racing at least, and we we did okay earning money off that uh, off that drag racing last night. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Sand, sand, bad, bad. We've got no steering slash grip out here, as you would imagine. Come on, go car, go, go, go. Launch it across the curb. We're fine. We've still got a whole another lap to go. Oh, God. I've got to be so careful of the curves. I don't, I don't think there is a look behind button, which is... Oh, hello. I went on the brakes because I didn't know ooh, where we're going to need to be getting stopped from. The AI's put himself out into turn one. This has made my life easier, but more expensive. <laughs> the AI are going, going mental. Now, if you don't want the damage, you can, you can turn it off. As I said, I put it up to, up to full just to make things uh, interesting for me and perhaps a little bit more challenging. For the age of the game, the damage is seriously advanced. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I've done exactly the same thing, thinking I'm driving on the full layout. Uh, that's, that's not a good crunchy noise. Wow, I, yeah, that car's going to look like it's been through a demo derby by the end of this race. It's supposed to be a race. Oh, well, yeah, the golf has not had an easy life so far, and I'm forgetting where the bloody chicane is uh, coming up. I think, I think we might have to stick to, stick to drag racing for the uh, foreseeable future. We definitely do need a, a break upgrade. You get the idea, though, with this game. It is seriously impressive. I, I do highly recommend the the game it is a lot of fun there really is nothing out there that can compete with it in terms of vehicle customization as i said i'm not sure about mod support for this steam version i think some people have got some stuff working but uh, i have no doubts in time there's a huge modding community for this and i have no doubt that they will uh, will get stuff oh i'm really not making that final turn not got the braking zone quite sorted there not gonna matter i'm miles ahead of everyone else in my beaten up golf not quite sure, but I'm, I have no doubt that that stuff will be uh, be got working. For me, at least, this version has been a hell of a lot more stable than the previous ones I have played. I forgot the game doesn't take control of the car as well. It's, uh, yeah, it has been a hell of a lot stable. The loading times are a lot quicker. It crashes a hell of a lot less, and that is uh, is always nice. I I like it. I really, really do. Yes, it isn't perfect. It will still crash from time to time, but it is it is a lot better. Yeah, $450. Bloody hell. I've got to repaint everything as well. I forgot about that. When you bend stuff up and have to repair it, it gets scratches. So you've got to then go and respray. We might go and we might go and sort out our interesting, <laughs> interesting coloured golf. But uh, yeah, I I highly recommend you you check this out. It is five pounds on Steam. And you will have much, much fun with this with this game. I will probably do some more videos on this. I may come back and play around with some mods. May do sort of a more legitimate playthrough. Cheats have been added in. Uh, initially, they did stop you from using the cheats to gain uh, unlimited money and so on. A lot of people just use this game to build cars. So 
yeah, not sort of bothered about doing the proper racing and whatnot. So that's nice if you want that option, if you just want to mess around with cars, you want to have unlimited money. I know I certainly did initially when I played this, but admittedly that was when the racing was a little bit crappy. It's a lot more enjoyable playing this as a proper game now rather than just a mess around building cars. But yeah, cheats are there if you want to, to spawn in unlimited money and whatnot. So yeah, it is as, as good as it always was. Handling physics are interesting, take a little bit of getting used to. But uh, it's all about the modifying of the cars, really, more than the actual driving. But as I said, you know, the racing stuff is, is a lot more interesting uh, in here. And there's some cool tracks to, to go around. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much. We'll put our supercharger back in uh, for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>